Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo LOQ 15i gamer laptop, the Gen 9 version. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your CMOS battery. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip the computer over to access our bottom case screws. Now you have these four screws along the bottom, one on either side near the middle, and then these four up top for a total of 10 screws. After you get those screws out, you're going to take your small, flat, plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal pry tools will tend to scratch your case a lot more than plastic ones will. And I would recommend starting in, in the back corners here. Uh, you're going to pop it open. You're going to go around the seam, pop the uh, bottom case up from the computer. Then you're going to go down each side and then you're going to finish up on this edge. This edge is the hardest to get off. So I would go from the back to the front on this computer. After you've taken your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm opening a computer, it's sitting on an anti-static pad. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on them. If you need any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, there'll be a link above. Also below in the description, it'll have all those tools and replacement parts for the LOQ-15i. Now before I do anything in a computer, I will either remove or at least unplug my battery. It makes it safe to work on the computer with as little power as possible running through it. The battery plugs into the motherboard right here. Now, as you can see in your computer, there's a small grip on either side of that black plug. So you can use your fingernails or a pry tool and you can go one side at a time and pry that out from that plug. As with any computer plugs, you want to avoid pulling on the wires as much as possible. You want to just manipulate that plug or whenever possible. Okay, so now that the battery has been either removed or at least unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. This is your CMOS battery right here. It's wrapped in black electrical tape. It's stuck down to the computer by double-sided tape and it plugs in right here. So if you're here to replace it, you can easily just pop that up with your fingers. Again, it's only double-sided tape and then you would unplug it from here. Just like the battery plug, there's a grip on either side. So you can use a pry tool to jimmy that out of that port. I'll have a replacement CMOS battery option below in the description in that link that I told you about with all the tools and replacement parts. If you're here to just reset BIOS, then you don't need to physically remove the battery. You can leave it stuck down there. You would just need to unplug it from the motherboard. Uh, maybe 15, 20 seconds should be sufficient to reset your BIOS settings. One quick side note with resetting BIOS, this will only reset BIOS settings, guys. This will not, in most cases, reset your BIOS password. And then last side note to the video, uh, some of you may be here because your computer is dead, it's not turning on, um, and you may be trying this because you heard this can sometimes revive a dead computer. If that's why you're here, there are other reasons why your computer may not turn on. I'll have a link above, also below in the description, it'll be a troubleshooting video on how to troubleshoot a laptop that's not turning on, uh, doesn't show any signs of life, and it'll take you through the most common causes why your laptop may be that way. So I hope this was helpful. This is how you access your CMOS battery in the LOQ 15i. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation. And there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.